Welcome back to the Theme Park Wizards. Today, I wanted to talk to you about Six Flags Magic Mountain. Six Flags Magic Mountain is having a tough time with the Fright Fest. Of course, at Midsummer Scream, they announced some fantastic new mazes, The Conjuring and Saw. And immediately, like, apparently those were late gets. Oh, I'll tell you in the Y section. But those have been delayed. Now, they're delayed once already. They're supposed to come out on or Saw or Conjuring. It was supposed to open on September 15th, about a week after Fright Fest started. And Saw was supposed to open on September 29th, which is uh, right now September 20th, so it's about a week from today. But September 29th is almost halfway through the event, right? But recently, on the website and the app, both The Conjuring and Saw, well, I should know, on Instagram and their social media, Six Facts suggested or said that Conjuring would be delayed further, not open, September 15th, and they didn't give a date. Then, now, Saw on the website and the app, both, they both say coming soon, instead of late September. So, it's potentially that these things won't open up until October, potentially even mid-October, meaning the two new brand new mazes that were supposed to bring in uh, lots of people for the grand 30th anniversary of Friday Fest at Six Flags Magic Mountain, um, may not open for just until just two weeks before the event closes. People are one, you probably have a question, what the heck? Well, you're probably thinking, oh my gosh, six flags, come on now. And trust me, I'm thinking that too. I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, come on now. And I actually just checked, and uh, permits are still being electrical permits are still being filed for the Conjuring House on September 15th itself, the opening day for the, the original opening day for the attraction. So, uh, not good. It's not like it's been raining or anything, and they, like not little rain delays or anything. But again, on that uh, last Six Flags update, when I was talking about those Giga Coaster rumors, which I'll link up on up top on the video here, you can see I did a, an update on Saw and and how uh, Conjuring mazes and Saw definitely had another ten up, but it was still under active construction. It looked like a uh, Horror Nights house looks like in like april or something you know like months before it actually finishes so a little unfortunate a little sad especially because i was very excited for that and in fact i thought the midsummer scream presentation of six flags was better than halloween hornets's presentation because of the ip and houses i mean and the hornets sean murray is amazing and everything but they mostly just focus on monstros so i was like oh my gosh six flags was nothing this and this and this and all these cool updates i can't wait to see it Obviously, Horror Nights, all their mazes open, our houses open on time, and you've seen the live streams, and I have all the Horror Nights house, uh, house POVs on the channel, and they look absolutely fantastic, especially Monstros, which was um, highlighted at the event. And of course, we still don't know what Conjuring or Saw look like at Six Flags, because they're not open yet. Media Night is September 30th. Six Flags was awesome enough to invite me to that. I don't think they're going to, they probably have to move the media night because I'm not sure that new houses will be open by that time, which will be very interesting. And so, uh, by the way, if you're looking for a Six Flags Fright Fest video, that's where that's where it's coming from. I'll be there with my girlfriend on media night. And so I want to be able to show you the new houses and new mazes. So uh, that may not come till October now. Again, just a couple weeks before the event starts. Now, of course, Warner Brothers, uh, owns the Conjuring IP, and Saw is a different IP. I, I forgot. I'm not sure what it is. Um, Paramount? I don't know. Oh, sorry. Lionsgate, I think. But, uh, yeah, so people are wondering, you know, what's going to happen now, you know? What is going to happen now? And I think that Saw, or both of these events, because Saw at one point was at Halloween Hornets, but I think The Conjuring, this opens the door for Universal to grab The Conjuring for next year or in future years. Because I'm not sure Warner Brothers is going to want to work with the Six Flags again, saying that their maze, or new, new brand new maze, will be uh, potentially only have a two week run. So, certainly at max a four week run at the four weekend run at the event. And who knows if it's what it even looks like. And we don't even know what it looks like. Um, any facade work, any details, um, we don't know what it looks like. So this is just having the maze up and running. So I'm sure Warner Brothers is not happy with that. We know how serious they are with their Harry Potter stuff at Universal Parks with their partnership. So 
I think, uh, yeah, Warner Brothers is, won't be too happy and probably won't want to at least license one of their properties to Fright Fest again. Now, Fright Fest, according to rumors and reliable insiders online, Fright Fest was a late get. Like, they literally got it just a couple of, like, days or weeks before the announcement at Midsummer Screen, which is why it's so late. But, again, that, to me, is still is no real excuse because last year, Evil Dead Rise was supposed to come to Halloween Horror Nights, but at the last second, the movie got delayed and stuff, and something happened, and they couldn't use the Evil Dead Rise IP. It's, that's there now, but they couldn't use it. So what did Universal do? They, at the last minute, created their own original house. But they already can do that because they already started constructing the house. They already know it's gonna be, something's going to be there, whether it's Evil Dead Rise or something else. Universal didn't wait to get the uh, IP before they started constructing the house, which is smart. Six Flags, even if they knew they, they if they weren't sure they could get the I saw or conjuring, if they they already budgeted it obviously for ten house or was it two new houses, whatever, right? I think it's eight, brings it up to eight. So they should already build them and then quickly come up with a backup plan if they couldn't get those IPs. That way it's already built and you can at least make it a generic haunted house instead of um, the conjuring or or the saw house mazes instead of just waiting until you get approval to actually build the houses um or mazes sorry each of them they cost they all cost them, them something different so i'm gonna probably interchange those words but yeah it just makes no sense to me again probably definitely a money saving thing maybe they're just like oh well, if we can't get these maybe we'll just cut back in general but i, I don't know I think it's cool to expand the event, especially if you do the same. If you're not a uh, place that rotates uh, houses each year, like Horn Ice usually doesn't have that many repeat houses, but knots and six packs usually do, maybe with one or two new ones. Just build, just make some new ones. You know, even if you couldn't get the IP, just make some new original ones or try to get a different IP. But yeah, or, and if you could, if you got it this late in the game, they should have saved it for next year and still built the house or mazes. And just put it in an original IP, you know? Like, I don't know. I think there's so many different ways Six Flags could handle this. I believe, I do blame it on the park president, though. And a lot of people say Six Flags, Six Flags, Six Flags, and I'm guilty of that, too. But at Six Flags Fiesta, Texas, their president, Jeffrey Sherbert, or I, th I think that's his last name, but I know his first name is Jeffrey. He is always posting online on Twitter, showing progress reports, showing him out in the park. He's really helping that park out. So I really believe, yes, Six Flags is a cheaper company than, of course, Disney and Universal but, and Cedar Fair. But if you have a good park president, I feel like you can really pull some strings and really get things done. I mean, other Six Flags chains are getting the... Other parks in the chain are getting the houses of Conjuring and Saw. I'm not sure when there's are opening, if they're open or not. But I'm not sure. I don't know if they're having this big of a problem. So it's definitely on the park president. And I someone actually posted that he retired. And now shortly after, it was like a day after the conjuring got delayed, that he was uh he's retired. So quote unquote retired. So that's probably definitely a good move. Hope we get a new good park president who can really help out the park. Well, also with the not just with the, with the new mazes, but you know, just overall beautification and. Uh, park improvements but yeah that is what's going on with saw and the conjuring uh, another further delay what do you guys think about this were you excited to go to fright fest i know some people were going to the fright fest for the first time because of these ips and houses i wonder if they're still gonna go is that you comment down below subscribe for more theme park updates i mean all your thoughts on the situation and as always have a six flags day